we devote the closing prayer to our faithful member of our flock who is leaving us tonight to fill a position of great importance in foreign policy. I refer to our brother Brutus Jones. Will you bow your heads in prayer? Yes. Almighty and everlasting God, mm -hmm. we the people of Hezekiah Baptist Church yes. for the purpose of giving into your keeping our yes. brother Brutus Jones. Yes, Lord, our brother. Like the prodigal son in the story, Honey, you sure is wonderful in them clothes. Yeah, I suppose these clothes is something to look at back here, honey. Where I've been while I've been training for the job, you wouldn't notice them. Well, you want to see them New York gals on Lenox Avenue? Them gals is fast, I bet, switching themselves to catch the men. But honey, you wouldn't look at none of them fast gals while you's away from home, would you? They ain't none of them's pretty in the face, like my gal. And that prodigal son, he takes the inheritance what his pappy gives him, and he spend it on the past life, but not this boy, Lord. No, Jesus, not this boy. And the prodigal son, he is a liar, and the truth ain't in him, but not this boy, Lord. He's got the truth, Lord. Yes, yes. You know, I looks up. And there's the Capitol building, looking like a palace on the hill. And the big front door opens, and the President of the United States marches down the avenue with a band before and a band behind. And he comes right up to my car, and he says just as natural, well, Brutus, you sure is much of a man. And I, for one, wants to compliment you on landing the job. Honey, they're singing the closing song at the church. We've got time. Jeff's train's gonna pick me up at the water tank. But you know they's waiting to see you before you go. I sure hate to leave my girl.
Here she is. Come on, Jones. We hit my buddy. Honey, this is Jeff. Hello, sister. Make tracks, Bo, because we're riding right now. Come on. Right. But this is too much. He is coming back, ain't he? Oh, sure, I'm coming back. You just get yourself a new dress with this, honey. You know, a red one. That's your style. And take care of yourself till I comes back now. Come on. Come on. All right, old boy. That's all right, honey. Don't worry. I'll be back there. Because you big time from this on. Now, I suppose you think you knows all there is about this job. So, didn't you done instructing? Oh, just a rudimental. Now, we've got to take up the higher education, finances. Yes, brother. And right here is where I estimate the profits for the run. Now, if you brush a dime out of this, you're doing well. And number three here, boy, that's good for hair. Now, what about this one? Number five. A whole section. That's a honeymoon couple. That's a natural. If you please your hand right, it means the long green. Big money, huh? That's what I want to tell you about. You know, there's two kind of women that ride the Porter. There's the kind that says, uh, good evening, Porter. That don't mean nothing but a tip. Then there's the kind that sings out, hello there, Jack Johnson. And boy, that means money. No. Yeah, and I'm going to show you where to spend it. <laughs> This is my New York home bowl, and you'll always find me here. Oh, myself. Where's Undine? Well, I don't know she was around here somewhere. Didn't know I was coming in, eh? Honey, look to my girl, eh? There she is. Undine, meet Mr. Jones. Please to meet you, Mr. Jones. Wanna dance? Sure, go ahead. You my buddy, ain't you? How do you like the city, big boy? I like it fine, now. Coming back soon? As soon as the train will bring me. I'll be here.
are sure glad to see you. I get to missing you more and more on these long runs. You know, you haven't asked me to come here to meet you. I've been afraid. Afraid of what? Mm, you know, Jeff. He's a bad actor over me. Well, you ain't got nothing to be afraid of. I can handle that little two-bitch porter. You ought to throw him over anyhow. Then it'd be just you and me. Sometimes I wonder. Wonders what? If you're gonna laugh. You ain't got nothing to worry about, honey. But you ain't heard the good news yet. I've been transferred to the president's private car. Oh, that ain't nothing. Well, Jeff say you don't make no tips on that job. That's why he didn't take it. There you are. That's the difference between me and Jeff. He can't see no bigger than two bits. Me? Oh, I'd just be stepping to my own class on that private car. <laughs> Harrington, if there is no leak, we stand to clean up millions. That's the idea. Good night. Good night. Good night, Jones. Good night. Anything on your mind, Jones? I was awful worried about that merger. Sure would be bad for us if that news got out. Us? Hmm. How long have you been with me, Jones? Six weeks, sir. Learning fast, Jones. Almost too fast. Got any money, Jones? I got about 300 in the bank. All right. You're in the pool for $300. Thank you, sir. And Jones, uh, I would rather you didn't leave the car until Sunday. Two days solitary, but it'll be worth it. Right? Yes, sir. And, Jones, when we get back to New York, it might be a good idea for you to go back on your old run. There's more room for big men in Georgia. Yes, sir. Boy, you sure was born to wear that oyster front. Where'd you get such a good fit? Well, the boss and me talked it over, and he sent me to his tailor. He said, Jones, you've got a position to live up to now, and you can't afford to be careless in your time. You and Mr. Harrington must be getting mighty thick. Well, we just pull off a little deal together. I give him some valuable advice. And he said, Jones, you're learning fast. You're getting big. And then he takes me into partnership. What? Ain't you going back on the Pullman no more? Oh, I'll stick by the job for a few more runs. But uh, things don't seem to be going quite right on that old run of mine. And the boss asked me to drop down that way and straighten them out. Well, I guess since you'll be down that way, you'll probably drop in the White House. Oh, well, that's an idea. <laughs> okay, what are you trying to do? Kid me? <laughs> me kid you? Boy, you're a scream. Jones, you're getting big. You're learning fast. Then he takes me into partnership. Come clean, big boy. Where'd you get that money? In a crap game? <laughs> Go ahead, laugh some more. You done laughed yourself right off of my payroll. Oh, honey, sweetheart, I didn't mean it. I was only kidding. No, you're too funny to live with. Any woman's baggage which gets heavier and heavier the longer you totes them. You got to change them to keep traveling light. Here's forty dollars and goodbye. So you was all set to do this before you come in, huh? Through is through, you heard me. And you can go back to Jeff. He still thinks there ain't nobody like his undine. Yeah. Well, you ain't the first man that's gone down and out thinking everybody else was a fool. I got eyes, even if Jeff ain't. And you can tell that polecat Belle to do. If she wants to keep on trying to look like Garbo, she'd better stay out of my way. See him, sister. <laughs>
Yes. Hello, Andy. Undine, meet Miss Ledoux. I've known Belle since before she straightened her hair. And when she went with Johnson. Where is he now, Belle? Still in jail? Undine, where's your manners? I'm just trying to talk so that cold cat can understand me. Come on, baby. Let's dance. What's the matter with you tonight, Undine? Now, I don't like you acting so to my pal. Your pal? Yeah. Don't make me laugh. Why, he's been biting me in the back for a year. What do you mean? I mean, when I get finished with Bell, he ain't gonna have much left to love. <laughs> oh! Oh! Jeff, I never saw you in such a mood. Never mind the lip. Get these nits back away when from the table. Hey, fellas, mother. come on. Back up. Give That's him a chance. Where you? Where you? That's when <laughs> you on the line, you nits. Eat him, Bobby Eva dies. Big dick. Who is that singing? Is that you, Lily Pie? Yes. Well, if you can't sing no better than that, shut up. <laughs> Jeff Gale must have stowed him down. Yes, what's eating you, Jeff? You've been trying to ride somebody ever since you come in here. Ah, woman, dry up. Do the drum arms, Tommy. You can roll. Let him roll. Get what dead you faded and let him roll. Push him, Tommy. Let a man have elbow room. Right here, yes. Twenty dollars they don't. Twenty they do. Now, if you want to make your money. Keep rolling and in here, brother. Do this for a while. Ah, the man went away. Oh, yeah, Jones. Give me a shooter there, somebody. Come on, give me a shooter. Fifty is dead, that shooter. Man, take that chicken feet off of here and play it on the line. Come on, give me a shooter there. Big money talk. But you shoot, Mr. Jones. Put in the nickel. Put in the nickel, he goes. I've got the nickel. You can't pick with it in your hand. Put it on the wood. Let him shoot. Let him roll. He's faded. Oh, my head, Nick. Let him pop it. Come here. Hey, balls of fire. Big dick. Don't get nervous, boy. You can back it. Let me have it. Six for me, Dave. Eleven. Who wants any part of these four saw books? That makes my point. Let the dice bring on misery. Let them pop and let them give them chance. Six for me, Dave. Six eight. The man went away. You know, why don't you get up off the table? Can't you see your coach leaves stuff him with that? What are you talking about? Can't I make a bet? Yeah, old boy, you win a dime. Here you are, Jeff. Pop money. Who's the next shooter? Eighty-five cents, I shoot. Eighty-five cents, the lady shoots. Bring your bed here. Your cushions favor me. Let him roll. She's faded. Twenty to dice do. Let the hussy sprain her wrist. I'm going to cut you a brand new mop with these dice and get you something to put in it, you now long black snake. Let him roll. Let him dice. Two oh. naked eyes. The lady goes. Say, Stumpy, were you on me then? Yeah, I was. Didn't I tell you never to get on my back? Yeah, but who did this is a crap game? Underline you, Nick. Catch him, Hoffman. Let him hear him chatter. Put in a nickel, I shoot. Put in a nickel, I shoot. I got the nickel. Let him roll. On the line, you small fish. I'll take you two. Let him roll. You can $80, the dice do. Now, one sixty. Now, Jeff, you can roll. They do. <laughs> I know that I'd have a crap game today. The Yankee boys is in town. Let him roll. The man's faded. Catch him hopping. Ah, Eleven. Natural. Put the guy down. Crooked, huh? Well, if they use crooked, they stand just like him. And here's where I straighten them both. Yep. Oh,
on that boy, the Lord will strike me dead. Won't take orders, eh? Listen, Dolly, you gotta move fast. Get me a file, a change of clothes, especially shoes. It's 
Hey, where is this tub stopping next? Kingston. We'll get there tomorrow. Ain't we stopping on these little islands on the way? Oh, this no local, this running express. Kingston. Quite a big city, eh? Now you're shouting. They got everything. Dance halls, gals. They got telegraph? Cable, you mean, big boy? Sure they got cable. What's that little island with the white fort we've been coming on this afternoon? Just one of them there little nigger islands. But nobody bothered about that place. Ain't nothing there but trouble. Trouble's my buddy. Say, Bo, watch my door. I ain't gonna be long. Okay. Who that? Who that? Uh, 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 you on, buddy? Uh, 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 all right, all right, I'm coming. Send Mr. Peters in. Well, Your Excellency, the goods has come and I brought you a few samples. First class, just like I said they'd be. Now, here's the figures. 400 cash for the lot. Oh, no. I got the contract this time. The contract, he said, 300. Contract? Well, that's just the blooming point. You see, uh, here it says, except for a Hector Gorg. Now, the ain't the like of that consignment within 300 miles. And the next boat don't get here for two months. Now, ain't that a Hector Gorg, self me? Where you get that trash from? On the beach. Where you come from? Come to make trouble on my island. Filthy swine. Lock him up and throw him on the first boat out. I'll take this bloomin' nigger off your hands for you, your highness. Here. Here, five silver dollars for him. Lock, stock, and barrel. What do you say now? Is it a tried? Good. Here, wait a minute. Here, bring him here. I won't have a talk with him. Yeah, that's all right. He belongs to me. So that's what it gives me, man, eh? 
What they calls in the States a bad nigger, eh? A killer, what? With the law on your trail and the bloomin' gallows waiting for you around the next corner, what? Look at you, white man. I comes and I goes. And that's my business. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of a nigger you are, eh? Not afraid to stand right up to your betters and tell them what's what. You wouldn't be afraid of a bit of a fight, neither, would you? When I fight, there's something in it. And I don't never fight on no empty belly. Yeah, well, supposing your belly was full and you had a chance to get back at the stinking even what threw you out, what would you say then? And now you's talking, white man. All right. Now you get your rum and your eats. But you don't get a stinking penny. Because I'm a trader, see? I ain't no bloomin' missionary. And if anybody worries you, you just tell them you belong to Mr. Smithers. I belongs to Mr. Smithers. What's that? Ginger. What's that? A meadow. What's that? Coping. What's that? Ginger. Ginger? What's that? Coffee. Coffee ginger. Well, <laughs> well this ain't regular, but maybe the dice will do. Now, that goes first to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. All right, talk to him, Bo. what I say? Viva in the South. Viva South. Ada from Decatur. Ada from Decatur. Big Dick. Big Dick. <laughs> Well, shoot, man. Don't you know I mean shoot? Oh, and the whole pile goes to the gentleman with the Rolls Royce. Well, all right. Gather it in. All yours, buddy. Boy, I'll be dressed up here in a minute. I'm going after that hat. Let them roll. Natural. Let me have it, boy. Now, Cracker, what do you say? This whole pile against that Rolls Royce. Ha! The house is rolling. Now, come on, you galloping dominoes. Come home to Papa and let her ride. Ha! Nine is the gentleman's point. Come on, Ada from Dakota. Come on. Ha! Eve in the South, baby. Ha! The gentleman made his point. Ah, uh, the team is mine, Quacko. That's tough luck. Better luck next Saturday night. <laughs> we play home on for Hoxham. Oh, no. Women is women, and Brutus Jones is through. <laughs> well, I'll see you boys next week. Look them over. Come on, Cracker, I'll see you later. I wonder what the blazes is keeping that black ape. Here, where do you think you're going? Well, good morning, Mr. Smithers. You work in here. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Smithers, the boys back in the bush seems to like my methods. And I was thinking to open up a little trading business next door here. Oh, cut my bleeding throat, would you? After all I've done for you, too. Is that your idea of gratitude? <laughs> well, I was always ready to listen to reason. And while I'm unloading, if I was to hear anybody say something about a partnership, Jungle, it gives me the creeps. 
Hey, so you notice they shut the gates after us? Look at you, white man. Is your nerve slipping? Well, I don't like it. If you had to recruit an army for them, why did you have to get such big blokes? Yes, yeah, them is fine, nigga. I bet you they knows a man when they sees one. Well, if there's any trouble, you've only got yourself to blame. Saluting him and calling him general and... Well, now I tell you, Mr. Smithers, if there's any trouble, you just leave a general to me. Us niggas understand each other. Tell him, Mr. Smithers. You know, you've got to be diplomatic about it. Mr. Smithers, your excellency. Show the gentleman here. Good day to you, Majesty. Well, well, top hole, eh? Top hole. As fine a body of men as ever I clap me peoples on. Hey, what, Jones? Right. Yeah. And well found, if I says it myself, as fitted him out, eh? What? Well, General, you've got a swell on me. And I reckon when you figure how little it's costing you, makes you feel mighty proud. Send in the treasure. This is my treasure. Tell the gentleman the truth now. Does you know how to figure? Yes, your highness. Now you see, I got a figure. Produce the contract. Your bill, Mr. Smithers. Yeah, well, uh, here you are, your excellency. Now then, there was a hundred uniforms at five dollars. That's a thousand dollars. There was a hundred rifles at five dollars. A thousand dollars. One cannon was five hundred and the ammunition. Well, it adds up to $4,000, Your Excellency. What does the treasury report? It seems to me that there might be a little error. Oh, well, here, here, let me have a look at it. Yeah, we all make mistakes now and again. Yeah, if it is a mistake, I've seen it all along. It's $5,000. There you is, Captain. Check that off and tell it to the boss. Fire! <laughs> Fire again! Empty your gun! <laughs> Don't you all know I's got a charm? Takes a silver bullet to kill Brutus Jones. My turn now, General. Company, attention. Take this bushnick and throw him out of here. I'm boss here now. All of you, get out of here. And wait. Then what I wants to stay will hear from me in an hour. Smithers, you wait. I wants to confer with you. Well, blind me if you ain't pulled it off. You have got a nerve. Nerve and brain. I calls it stinking luck having that nigger miss you twice at ten feet. Pick up that gun. Break it. Blanks. Blimey, how... You remember when Quacko got drunk in town last night and I takes care of his gun while he sleeps it off? Well, that's what I call brains. This place smells more like a chain gang dumped in a pallet. Say, Smithers. How you likes the contract of doing this dump over? Now you're talking. And don't make the mistake of thinking you're dealing any ignorant bush nigger. I gives you an audience tomorrow. And bring along them fashion sheets that I gets last summer. And then I want some mirrors, plenty of them. 
And remember, Smithers, red's my color. I always had a special taste for red. Mr. President. Now, King Brutus. No, somehow that don't make enough noise. Smithers, cigarette. Light. Smithers, you have just had an audience with the Emperor Jones. Village last night, and your tax collector got beaten up so his own mother wouldn't know. Oh, well, that's old stuff. My army's got them niggas already. And I'm gonna dress them down before the whole court this morning. They all need the lesson. Too late to give them a lesson now, my lad. You've got them squeezed dry. Look at here. When I take this job, what I tell you? I says three years for my cleanup, don't I? Well, we've got six months to go. Them's my arrangements. And I ain't gonna change. I suppose you got your money in the white safe, eh? I sure had. And it's banked in a foreign land where there ain't no chain gangs and no Jim Crow, and nobody can get it except me. In six months, I walks out on this nigger circus, and from then on, I top dog. Top dog, eh? Look here, white man. There's little stealing like you does, and there's big stealing like I did. The little stealing, they get you in jail sooner or later. For the big stealing, they make you emperor and put you in the hall of fame when you croaks. Well, all I know is that it's a wise gambler that knows when to quit. Look here, white man. You think I ain't still got these niggas like that? You think when I cracks the whip, they don't jump through? All right, I show you. I'll summon the court. Majesty is on the throne. Come in the court. I 
Duke and Duchess of Manhattan. Marquis and Marchioness of New York. Marquis and Marchioness of Britain. to the five-mile village and burn it off the face of the earth. No, you didn't have no excuse to look down on me for that. You've been in jail yourself more than once. That's a lie. <laughs> God. Come on, who's talking? 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 Well, I tell you, Smithers, maybe I does kill one white man back there. Maybe I does. And maybe I kills another right here for yeah. long if he don't look out. Do you think I'd preach on you? Not me. I'm your friend, ain't I? Sure you is. And you better be. I'm going to show you that I'm your friend. I'll tell you that bit of news I was going to. Go ahead, shoot the thief. <laughs> Must be mighty bad news from the happy way you look. <laughs> ain't noticed any of the servants or the guards around the place this morning, I ain't. Hey, 
So they all out in the garden, sleeping under the trees. All I got to do is to ring that gong and they come flying. All right. Ring it now and you'll see what I mean. Sure, I ring. ship is sinking, and the bloomin' rats have slung their hooks. Low-flung woods niggers. Well, I reckon overplays my hand this one. Man can't take the pot on a bobtail flush all the time. Was I saying I'd sit in six months more? Well, I changed my mind then. I cashes in and resigns the job of emperor Right this minute. Well, blimey, you're a cool bird and no mistake. No use fussing. When I knows the game's up, I kisses it goodbye without no long wait. They's all run off to the hills, ain't they? Yes. Lemmer's taking them, every man jack of them. And then the revolution is at the post. And the emperor better get his feet smoking up that tree. Go on, you look for your horse, ain't you, where you won't find it. They steals the horses first thing. Well, then I hoofs it. See? Do your duty. <laughs> Three thirty. Sundowns at six thirty or thereabouts. Oh, I got plenty of time. Make it easy. Yeah, well, don't you be so blasted sure. You'll have to hustle to get through that forest in twelve hours, even if you knew the trail is like a bloomin' naked. Look here, white man. Sure think I's a natural born fool. <laughs> Why well, I's gone out in that forest so many times for ten on. I knows it high and low like a book. I could find on trails my eyes shut. And I got tin grub hid there on a big white stone where I can find it. Well, I'll be at the edge of the forest by the time dark comes. And once in them woods, them niggas will never find me. Dawn tomorrow, I reach the coast and board that French gunboat. I got to laugh at these fool black trash around here. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Supposing something happens and they does nap you. <laughs> I's got five lead bullets in this gun, good enough for common bush niggas. And after that, I's got the silver bullet left to cheat him out of getting me. I tells him when the time comes, I kills myself with it. That's because I'm the only man in the world big enough to get me. Then you had a silver bullet, Maid. Honest? Oh, I sure did. Here she be. Five lead bullets and a silver baby at the last. <laughs> Don't she shine pretty? Let me see. Keep your hands where they belong, white man. Blimey, you think I was a blaster thief? No, it ain't that. I know you're scared to steal from me. Only well, I allow nobody to touch this baby. She's my rabbit's foot. A sort of charm, eh? Now, blimey, you'll need all your blooming charms before long, self me. that drum beaten for? For you! The blacks is having a war dance in the hills, working up their courage before they start after you. Let them. They'll sure need it. They're making all sorts of devil spells and charms against your silver bullet. Uh, takes more than that to scare this chicken. When it's pitch black in the forest, they'll be standing their pet devils and ghosts hounding after you. You'll find your bloomin' hell be standing on envy tomorrow morning. It's a mighty queer place, that forest is, even in daylight. You don't know what might happen there. It's that rotten still. Always sends the cold shivers down me back the minute I gets in it. Go along, white man. <laughs> you ain't talking to this baby. And what ghost in hand's got to do with me? 
Well, don't you know I was a member in good standing of the Baptist church? Let them try the heathen tricks. The Baptist church doesn't protect me. <laughs> Land them all in hell. Yeah, you ain't paid much heed to your Baptist church down here. Taking up with them blooming witch doctors. Oh, sure, I pretend. It don't get me nothing to do missionary work for the Baptist church. I just after the coin, and I lays my religion on the shelf for the time being. But I ain't got the time to waste no more fool talk with you. I'm going away from here this second. So long, white man. I'll see you in jail sometime, maybe. Oh, we you won't. Here, you ain't going out this way, are you? You think I speak out the back door like a common nigger? I am for you, Dana. And the Emperor Jones leaves the way he comes. And that black tracks don't dare stop him. Not yet, these ways. Listen to that roll call, will you? Must be a mighty big drum to carry that far. Well, if there ain't no whole brass band to see me off, I sure got the drum part of it. <laughs> so long, white man. <laughs> Give my regards to any ghosts you meet. Well, there yeah, I am. In the nick of time, too. Sure. Give me a... Let's tuck it out, sure enough. That soft emperor chop, she ain't no training for a long hike over that plain in the brightening sun. Bush niggers. Wonder they wouldn't get sick of beating that drum. Sound louder, seem like. I wonder if they starting after. Oh, sure. They's miles and miles behind. What you getting fidgety about? You know what? Your belly's empty. That's what's the matter with you. <laughs> Nothing but wind on your stomach. Gosh, you feels jiggity. Well, we eat right here now. White stone, white stone. Wait. <laughs> I hear you. I know just what the white face. Box of grub. Come to me. Ain't you? Have I lost the place? There's another stone. I guess that's it. Hey, cheer, man. Hey, grub, where is you? You ain't cheer. Have I got to go hungry in them woods all the night? Can't tell nothing from them trees. Nothing around here look like they were seated. I done lost the place, sure enough. Mighty queer. Mighty queer. Woods, is you trying to put something over on me? Who the hell, who the hell? What is it? Get away from me, boy! There go. <laughs> that shot fix him. He was only little animal. Little wild pigs, I reckon. They maybe root it out your grub and eat it. Oh, you fool, nigger. What you think they is? Hands? Give the game away when you fire that shot. Them niggers will hear that for certain. Get in, nigger. What you scared at? Ain't nothing there but the trees. Get in. The moon's rising. Did you hear that, nigger? You get more light from this house. Huh? You see where you squire. 
Cheer up. Now when you have a snap. It's warm. And that's a fact. How long I've been making tracks in these year woods? Seem like forever. This am a long night for you, your majesty. <laughs> majesty. Ain't much majesty about this baby now. Never mind. It's all a part of the game. This night come to an end like everything else. When you get there safe and have that bankroll in your hands, he who laughs at all this. Ain't no hammer. On this Monday, ring like mine, say, ring like mine. This old hammer, ring like silver, say. Clickety sound I hear. Sound like. Sound. I sound like some nigga was shooting crap. The <laughs> time I beat it quick when I get them notes. Who there? Who there? Is that you, Jeff? Jeff. I'm sure I'm mighty glad to see you. They told me you done died from the cut I gave you. You come to be here, nigga. Ain't you going to look up? Can't you speak to me? Is you is you a hand? Nigga, I killed you dead once, as I got to kill you again. You take it then! <laughs> No head. That shot fix him. He's getting near. Well, he's coming fast, and here I is shooting shots to let him know just where I is. Corey, I've got to run. See no more than the heads. Oh, sure. That was all in your own head. Wasn't nothing there. Wasn't no Jeff. You know what? You just get seeing them things because your belly's empty. And you're sick with hunger inside. Bless God, I don't see no more of them, whatever it is. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I's coming. You wait, devil. I just see you yet some time.
where's my hammer? Give me my hammer, I split his head. Give me a hammer, one of you. Give me a hammer. I kill you, you white devil. If it's the last thing I ever done. Ghost of devil, I kill you again. <laughs> What do you 
ain't thinking that deep, my oaks. That's him. My men got silver bullet. Kill him, Joe. They got a silver bullet? Lead bullet, no kill him. Him got strong charm. I cook money, make silver bullet. Make strong charm, too. Did for you right enough, John Jimmy Lad. Dead as a herring. Where's all your eye and mighty airs now, you blooming majesty? Silver bullets. Blimey. Anyhow, you died in the ice of storm. Thank you.